it's March the 16th, 2022. This is Kevin Christian. Um, I'm talking a little bit about what's going on with these gang stalkers. What, like, what are they doing? Why, why are they involved with your life? Well, there's many reasons, but one of the big reasons that you need to be aware of is that they're doing a show about your life. They really are. They call it EMF live stream. It's, a, it's their EMF broadcast live stream, and that's where they can have video of you without a camera. And there's different ways that they can do that. Um, off reflections, living as a broadcast, where they can actually see you from a, a hologram broadcast that they're connected to on mind control and living as and experiencing life as if they were that broadcast. And also they can have your view because they're receiving, they can receive what you see, what your mind is processing. So if you see something, then your mind processes that and you're letting that off, just like your thoughts and how you feel and everything else. So um, I'm reading some messages as, as I'm doing this and somebody's talking about microchips. They don't have microchips. They, every, every one of these gang stalkers, if they're talking to you or even if they're not, a lot of people have access to neural monitoring. And it works from your neurological broadcast frequency. You're, you have a unique EMF signature frequency. We all have a frequency, like a, a neurological frequency. Okay, and EMF, the infrastructure uh, for this broadcast, which is the electromagnetic field of Earth, which works the same as like a network of cell phone towers. They create an energy field for your cellular signal to ride on. Well, EMF is the electromagnetic field of Earth, and it's everywhere. That's why you can't run away from this technology and find a dead zone or nothing like that. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's fully operational everywhere. So, um, but they're, they're, it doesn't work off microchips. And if, you know, not if, you are. You are on neural monitoring from this satellite broadcast system using EMF as the infrastructure, the energy field for the signals to ride on. Okay, so you are on neural monitoring. We all are. Every human is. This satellite's reading everybody. And um, there's nothing you can do to stop yourself from broadcasting your own frequency it's just how it is like if you if you're vibing real good with somebody like an intuition um you know or like you pick up really good on people like there's something to that you're picking up something because they're putting it off you you can't just pick up a, a blank nothing if there's nothing being put off for you to pick up you wouldn't be picking it up and it's it's not a lucky guess uh you your intuition is your reception of what somebody else is putting off, okay? And this satellite system can read all of that. And I mean, if you think your butt itches or uh, you feel crabby or, or whatever the situation is, if you see something amazing, all of this is something that your mind processes. And this satellite system can pick that up, okay? And every gang stalker and every human is also on neural monitoring. We're all on neural monitoring and there's one difference between somebody that uh, is a gang stalker and you okay they have access to an online interface with all the controls to set it up however they want to and this is a, this is an interface a control panel to your neurological self okay that said um, they take every advantage by having um, by having this by having access to their own where they can control their own settings and having access to yours where they can make advantageous connections with yourself and them and set it up the way that they want to. You, you better believe it. They don't have it set up to where people can attack them with broadcast. They don't have it set up to where somebody can uh, talk to them about what they're thinking and steal their thoughts. And and um, they, they get on mind control with people and, and have you know, uh, a hive mind thought process where but that's consensual and that's different. Okay. But they, they don't have somebody turning on a frequency, high pitch frequency, uh, you know, real loud and doing all kinds of stuff and to their body. And so while they're trying to sleep at night and everything, gang stalkers, they don't have that happening. 
And every person that has neural monitoring is not a gang stalker. But some of them are. Many of them are. So there's millions of people that have access to neural monitoring. So, but millions and millions and millions of people can still just be a fraction of a percent of the population. So most people don't have neural monitoring and they've never heard of it. But more and more people do have it and have heard of it. And more and more people are becoming targeted in a way that they are aware of by the people that get it and use it maliciously. So all that said, you understand it now, right? A little better. So what they're doing, and they can watch you off of a reflection. They can watch you from a hologram broadcast that they're connected to and living as in their mind. And it, to them, it's like they're there, the hologram. They are that hologram. Uh, the, their human body could be somewhere else, okay? And then your vision, your view, everything you think, all of this equates down to something that they can put out there and they, they live stream. So gang stalkers will come on and there might be, uh, like on my case, I got four guys that are on my channel full time all the time. And then they have other people that come on with them and like clients, you know, and people that probably pay them some money to access their live stream or, um, you know, or they can create programs of like things you do. Like if, if you do 10 backflips across the yard, Okay, they can create a program of you doing that and then they can sell that program to somebody who has neural monitoring that wants to connect to a broadcast and live as a broadcast and run that program and their broadcast hologram can do 10 backflips across the yard because they run that program and then they personally as a human in their mind they're living as that broadcast and they can experience how it is how it feels what it's like to do 10 backflips across the yard even if they're an 80 year old lady that doesn't have any uh, physical ability to do backflips they can experience that in their mind and people will pay for things like that and that's not secluded to backflips that's anything i do a lot of things that that they seem to think are interesting and they create programs but also, they're doing shows about your life. They're, they're these guys that are talking to you with artificial telepathy broadcast, and you hear them out loud like they're here. They're, they're broadcast. It's a broadcast, and they're, they're talking to you, and it's on your neurological broadcast frequency, and so you hear it, but nobody else can because it's not a sound wave. It's a signal, okay? So you don't hear my cell phone conversation flying through the air. Okay, it's a signal. I can hear it because my cell phone is on that frequency, so it can receive that. So you don't hear them talking to me with artificial telepathy, but I can hear it because I am on that frequency, and they are broadcasting on my frequency. Okay, you don't hear the, the hottest radio station around flowing through the air. But there is a signal flowing through the air, and you can receive that signal. And once you receive it, if you tune your uh, radio to that signal, then you can receive that. And at that point, you can play it out loud, and you can hear it. So all of these things should be making sense to you a little better now, right? So EMF broadcast live streams. You got several guys there maybe on your channel, and they'll take turns, you know? It's, it's this person's live stream. So they, they'll take the lead, you know, and everybody else is on mind control with them. And they're like a hive mind. They're all together as like one mind. And then you're linked in with them. So you could kind of receive them too. You don't have the headset on, but you can receive them. They're all wearing this headset thing where they, they receive things like full power. And it's like a amplifier slash distribution system, this headset to receive broadcast. All right. And so they're wearing this, this uh, headset and, you know, I would say that it's, I, you know, I would say that it's most likely tunable, and um, because I've known people to borrow a headset, and if you borrow somebody's mind control headset, then that means that it's not tuned to their specific EMF neurological broadcast frequency and if it is you can change it because so i don't know exactly how that works but i know that i've seen somebody borrow one and use it okay called a guy using one one time and i know that he borrowed it from some other guys that i know are gang stalkers so uh, i've seen it all happen i've seen it all happen with my own eyes so i know this to be a fact 
So I'm not giving you secondhand information. This is what I know because I've seen that and experienced that as as real life. So um, they they'll take turns, you know. And one guy he'll take the lead, and then that'll be his live stream, and and he'll have everybody else on with him, and they they try to draw you in to some situation that they are creating a circumstance, you know, and they'll tell you something. Oh, oh, you know, you're. Your little brother just said this, or this girl just said that, or such and such going to do this, or you're about to go to jail or something. They'll try to create a circumstance, right? And they, they know what you're thinking. They can receive you, so they know what you how you're reacting. And people say, ignore it. You can't ignore it. So they, they have a, a very good perspective of, of what to do next and, and where to go with this whole uh circumstance that they're trying to create for their live stream so because they, they know what you're thinking so if you're believing them then sure if you if you have like if you think oh my god you know it's the fbi you know this is what you might think in your head right so then they know that you thought that so what are they going to do they may just pretend to be the fbi you would probably believe them because it's very easy to get you to buy into a, a Thing, uh, that's your own idea. You can buy into an idea that was your own idea very easily. So if you think it's the FBI and then they start pretending to be the FBI and then, oh, you just know it now. Now you just know this is the truth because you, you just know it, right? Because they've played into your thought process because they know what you're thinking. So it makes it very easy for them. It changes you. It changes you over time when you learn how all of these things work and the mind games that they play. It changes you and it changes how you think. You'll never be the same again. You'll never be the same person that you used to be. And they changed you. They're stealing away your innocence, I guess. But at the same time, they're, they're creating um, a person that's very much in tune. You're very precision with what you understand at moving forward. You're a Jedi with it now because they've played these games so much and you've broke them down so much. And, and it, it really does get to the point where they start to get frustrated because they have all the controls and all the power and all the information. And then somehow you're still not being defeated. You're not losing that much. And so they get mad and it becomes a thing where they'll use the hologram broadcast that they're connected to, to physically penetrate your body and attack you with that. And that's where you start to think that somebody's beaming you with direct energy weapons. You know, uh, you, you're thinking, what, what, what's that person pointing his cell phone at me for? You know, and then uh, they know you thought that, the gang stalkers on your channel. So uh, immediately they're going to, you know, shock you or something with their little broadcast to make you buy into your own idea. Like, oh, I knew they were beaming me with their, a modified cellular phone, and it's not that. It's just these gang stalkers knowing what you think so they can easily uh, influence you to, to believe in something because it was your own idea in the first place. So meanwhile, they're putting on a whole show about this, and they got people that are paying them money to access these live streams, and everybody's watching this. Ah, ha, ha, you know, look, he called the police on himself and all this stuff. Like, and you got you got people calling the police saying, "Oh, there's army men in the in the trees with guns," you know, and and these guys are like, "Ha, ha, ha," you know, and they're broadcasting uh, holograms of army men, and they're they're all thinking it's real funny because they're a hologram. Uh, in their mind, they're being a hologram in a tree with an army gun, you know, and it's and then they they got you calling the police, and you think all this stuff's really going on because they can create those perceptions. Now sometimes there is stuff really going on. I've had some wild, wild situations, and especially when you go out in public and it becomes uh, a thing where they put you on public. They can put you on public where anybody in the vicinity can access your neural monitoring, and then they can see where you are. They can know what you're thinking. And they can start to, to play little games, you know, try to run you off the road if they want to get nasty with it. Or they can just try to do little stuff to, you know, there's different levels of what are they trying to accomplish. They're trying to get rid of you or are they trying to do something funny for a live stream or are they trying to just be part of, they're trying to get some extra points on the little game that they're all participating in by, um, you know, taking a real world photo of the targeted individual. 
You know, there's a lot of things that they're doing, but they're doing a show of your life and all of the stuff that they're doing, including accessing neural monitoring, putting out these live streams, communicating with each other on these different sites and uh, taking over apps on your phone and creating virtual devices and uh, even these broadcasts that they're living as. These holograms have some connectivity capabilities like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and it could just emulate a signal. Uh, you know, Wi-Fi is 802.11. You know, it's a frequency and they can emulate that with a broadcast and become Wi-Fi as a hologram and connect to your phone, which has hosted on it your virtual device, uh, their virtual device. Right? So a clone of your own phone. And, and then they're on your phone uh, running, while you're on your phone, they're on your phone too. And they're running EMF broadcast live streams of it. And the virtual device is where they hide even their, their own stuff. They'll have their own virtual device with their own neural monitoring stuff on it. And they'll have it you know, on their device or on uh, uh, hosted online. They can have, have it hosted on their own servers at home and access it through online networks, uh, running, running local hosts and different things. So I promise you all of this stuff is how it works. And they are doing EMF live streams. And they don't need a camera. They can just do all of this with broadcast. They can have a whole interaction with you, see you, know what you're thinking, uh, see what you see, uh, talk to you, everything just from broadcast, all from their home, okay? But all of this stuff is done with computers and the internet, okay? So if you're not studying computer programming by now, start today, start today. Um, I've been looking into this stuff for a long time and I've been learning a little bit here and there about different things with computer stuff, uh, but uh, I've, it's official now and I'm, I'm starting to get a uh, little ways into the computer programming degree at a college, and I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to I'm going to be doing this. Um, you know, another thing that's the 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 theft of your intellectual property. You know, I've been studying different ways to put business together and make money and investments and different things like that, and and I'm starting to figure out some stuff. Okay, some stuff that like people that make a lot of money figure out. You know, but it still takes time, but I'm starting to learn the things that are necessary to put myself in a way better position. It's going to take some time, but what I don't like is that these idiots that are on my channel, they're getting that for free. They didn't have to go out and study and learn and fail uh, and fail again and try to learn and take the losses and, um, you know, build up to that point to where they have become knowledgeable enough and in the position to be able to do certain things to, to do this kind of stuff. So uh, it's, it's not fair. They're stealing my intellectual property. So now these guys know how to do A and B and this and that, you know, because I've been studying these things for so long and, and uh, trial and error and, and failing and taking the losses. And, and now they just get to sit back and, and as soon as I'm succeeding, once I figured everything out or a lot of stuff out, then, oh, he, it's working for him now. Now, let's do that. You know, he's not, he's not uh, losing anymore, so let's copy him now. And they just get to get that for free, and that's not fair, and that's the theft of my intellectual property is what it is. And meanwhile, yeah, they're doing a show about all of this and making money off of you every day. You can't get rid of them. They love to be connected to your mind. Uh, you wouldn't want to be connected to somebody that's not smarter than you. Somebody that's dumb wouldn't be very fun for you to be connected to. You'd just be like, what an idiot. What an idiot. You're stupid. You're stupid. Stop. You're, you're what an idiot. You wouldn't want to be connected to them because you would just be frustrated. You're not learning anything, and you'd just be sitting there insulting them. But maybe, hey, maybe it would make you feel smart. If you were a gang stalker, maybe that's your thing. But um, you're not going to get rid of them if you're, if you're way smarter than them. And um, at the same time, they are making money by live streaming your life and they're basically you're a hostage you're you're human trafficked by way of your neurological broadcast frequency which has a great effect and a large amount of control over your life and your quality of life and your mental processes and everything it's your neurological self and they got the control panel and that really is how it works and it really exists so um you know, it's, it's a bad deal for people that don't have neural monitoring. And um, 
last thing before it gets too long, uh, I think that this technology, I think that it is leaked to the public with um, maybe with the intention for this to happen, but I used to think that. I used to think that that the elite leaked this technology out because they knew that a bunch of idiots would get it and start uh, warring with other people and doing stuff to people that didn't have it. And um, I thought that that, you know, was probably the scheme to begin with. But now that um, my perspective is advanced, I believe that there's a good possibility that this technology was leaked with the intention of keeping the elites and the world governments from having a supreme control over people with mind control and broadcast. So they put it out there and let it spread around and millions of people start to get it. And then that's supposed to be a safe net, a, a safeguard against uh, the governments using mind control and, and having and enslaving the people. That's, that's what it's supposed to be. But it turns out that they're using it in ways that are malicious and, and like terrorists. They're terrorists. They're using it for terrorism. So that's how it's turned out to be with half of the people that have gotten it. So uh, meanwhile, the governments don't want to turn around and say, okay, we'll help you. We know this is happening because they've been secretly using this stuff for 50 years and they don't want to admit that it exists. So that's what's going on. Uh, really appreciate y'all watching. Thank you for everything. And um, thanks, thanks for the support, you know. And, and thanks for listening, and I really want you guys to understand I'm not, uh, I'm not out here spreading propaganda. I know that this is how this stuff works. I know people that are gang stalkers. I know people that were normal and became gang stalkers, and I've been all in the mix with a bunch of people doing neuromonitoring stuff that are trying to suppress me and keep me from getting mine for a long time, and I promise you it's all the truth. So... Make sure you get yourself in a better position financially. Make sure you start to learn as much as you can. It's part of the future anyway. You're going to need to know about computer stuff and programming stuff. It's just the way that the, the humans have evolved. And considering the fact that we are integrated with uh, electronical systems of satellites and computers and broadcast frequencies, then we already are cybernetic. Okay, without microchips or anything else. So, um, you know, I feel like I feel like I'm giving you guys a really good explanation. Um, so trust it. You can trust it. You can trust my explanation of how this works and what's really going on and do some stuff to get yourself in a better position. And don't let these people fool you into doing anything stupid. And I know it's frustrating, but just it's a process. You're going to have to work through this for a while and uh, you, you have to make progress. So thank you for watching.